The late Queen's ham maker has revealed a secret recipe that has been a festive favorite of the royal family, in particular the late monarch, for many years. Neil Hollingsworth, founder of Duke's Hill, told how the Queen enjoyed a poached egg served on a slice of ham as she sat down for brunch on Boxing Day every year. He told how the dish has been a favorite with the firm for nearly 30 years. He said, my favorite meal during the whole Christmas period bar none is a Boxing Day brunch of a poached egg, on a warm slice of Duke's Hill York ham with my take on bubble and squeak, made from Christmas lunch roast potatoes and Brussels sprouts, served with a generous dollop of Duke's Hill's Boxing Day chutney. I understand Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth was particularly fond of our York ham for breakfast with a poached egg, just like me. Though I'm not sure if she ever tried Brussels and Squeak. Speaking of the company's traditionally cured ham to the palace, Mr. Hollingsworth claimed he would personally deliver the festive order every December to the Sandringham estate. Speaking of his visit, he added that he would always make time to stop to chat to royal staff and, sometimes, to members of the royal family too. He added, going to Sandringham became a much-loved Christmas ritual for me. Just as that became part of my Christmas, so our hands became part of theirs. Meghan and Harry labeled one trick pony after shaky strategy laid bare by documentary Mr. Hollingsworth described the dish as leftovers with a luxury twist, adding that it is his star dish of Christmas. The founder added, there's nothing quite like it the day after slaving over Christmas lunch, it's quick, deliciously simple and provides the perfect excuse to enjoy your Christmas Eve ham once again. It just sets the whole family up for the day ahead, whether you're going out for a bracing walk or spending the day relaxing on the sofa. Speaking of the dish, Mr. Hollingsworth added he has served the family tradition to so many guests and friends over the years. He said that the guests always look forward to it just as much as the Christmas Day turkey and trimmings. Princess Kate and Prince William skipped King Charles' royal Christmas lunch founded almost 40 years ago. Duke's Hill has grown into one of Britain's most respected luxury artisan food brands. The company boasts a vision of producing the very best hams, cured in the old-fashioned way, with a true focus on texture and flavor. The product has now been offered in some of London's top food halls, including Selfridges and Fortnum and Mason. As well as the Queen's favorite ham, the company also produces a tasty array of top-quality fresh meats, smoked fish and cheeses, as well as many more products. Neil's Boxing Day Brunch Recipe, Brussels and Squeak, finely dice one small onion and cook on low heat and butter until soft and allow to cool. Take 750 grams of leftover roast potatoes and blitz in a food processor until broken down into small pieces but retaining some texture. Take 250 grams of leftover cooked Brussels sprouts and finely chop. Put onion, potato and Brussels in a mixing bowl and combine, adding salt, pepper and nutmeg. Form into six patties and dust each in flour. Ideally then chill in the fridge for 20 to 25 minutes to ensure the mixture stays firm when heated. Then fry in olive oil or duck fat till well colored on both sides. Ham, cut a thick slice of leftover Duke's Hill ham, luxury Christmas, Wiltshire, York or Shropshire or Black, from Christmas Eve, warmed in a low oven. Poached egg, put a pot of water on a very low simmer, add a splash of cider vinegar and swirl water with a wooden spoon. Take a very fresh egg, pour off excess white, then put in teacup before sliding into the water, remove once white is firm and yolk still runny, dry with kitchen towel, 
trim and season, place on ham slice condiments, Dukes Hill Boxing Day Chutney.